Hello, my name is Angelo Darren with Freedom Mobile Living. Right today, I'm in the site of my father. This is where my father passed away, was buried. He passed away when I was like 26 years old. And really, that was the instrumental point of my life where it got me into business. Matter of fact, uh, after he passed away, I decided because my father was always afraid to take risk and so on, so he stayed in a stable job and that way it was felt more secured. In his generation, people did that. I mean, they stayed in their job and uh, they went for the retirement, but then things started changing and shifting. And so my father was so afraid to get into it, so as soon as he passed away, right after the funeral and everything, I already the next day I started business. I went into, at that time, there was no technology, computers, anything like that. What we have easy writers, like typewriters and stuff that would do a maximum of a paragraph. So what I did is I started, to, in order for me to do like 300 letters, I'd literally have to type one out and then run it through again and then do 300 of them in order to mail them out to clients. And that's really how I started. I mailed out 300. A friend of mine came over. We did it in my bedroom. And we mailed out 300 letters uh, to clients or potential prospects in order to try to get some sales. All right, the following week, I decided, well, I just mailed them. Well, maybe if I make a phone call, maybe if I make a phone call, maybe something will happen. And that's exactly what happened. I ended up getting three clients. And I was in my background with was taxes. So I had three clients doing books for their businesses. And that was enough to spearhead my business and then go from there. So my dad kind of put that into me as far as wanting to have a business he said to me once he says you can have make the most money in the world owning a business or you can mo make the less it all depends so what i have done over the years if i've i started out in business tried to make all my money in that particular business but then i got to a point where i started doing a little well i would say smaller businesses and then i would go ahead have pockets of income stream well, over the years, things have changed, and with the pandemic, remote income became a big deal. Well, I was really doing remote income in some fashion. I still had brick and mortar, and I also still had a business that uh, was in an industrial park. So as soon as that pandemic happened, I, I got rid of the warehouse, got rid of the offices, everybody went on remote. And then I, at that point, I always have been consciously thinking about how can I make an additional income stream if I had one income stream over here that didn't do so well in one week or one month or whatever what could I do to replace that so that's what gave me advent or I started being uh, just looking at what was available out in the market not only what was already but what could I create as well as remote income and so from one thing went to another we took our green code too we took a remote uh, and then at that point, uh, we started adding more to it. The Ride Local was already up and going, but after the pandemic, it kind of shut off. So, but we kept it available where we could open up the platform in any city we chose. Then on the top of that, I had some, uh, I do some crypto uh, investing, but it's more on a, a, almost like an entertainment basis. And I do it on the income we learn. Even though I put $15 into it and now I just checked it yesterday and I was up to $165. So I have made positive strains with that. Other things I do is I'm always constantly looking. Now Rideshare always appealed to me and the reason being is because you can bring an audience into a captive field inside of a car. Right? I have their attention, 100% of their attention. And I always was intrigued by that as a business model. And so that's another way I make my income as well. So each week it generally stays the same, but then every quarter or so, so I might uh, change it based on the seasons. Uh, the Welton hot dogs uh, that we're doing now, that's been really good. We've done uh, uh, two events right now. The first event, our investment initially was uh, $1,500. Uh, we negotiated down. They wanted $2,500 for the car. We negotiated down to a $1,500. Uh, and so our first event that we had, uh, we made like $409. And then the second event we did, uh, we we served like 976 guests at $8 a piece. So figure out the math on that. 
And so it does give us a pocket of income stream. One thing I'm finding about the hot dog business is I'm finding out I knew very little about it. I thought, who can't cook a hot dog? But there is a lot of things to the business as you go along. Uh, not only on serving the guests that come up to the place for the locations, but also the product itself. Because, you know, what we have, we have the Weldon Famous Dogs, which en ends up being a class of its own. There's no other hot dog out there like the ones we carry. And people, when they start tasting them, they really like them. So I like that appeal to it, is that uh, we have an exclusive. I, I've been big. Every time I get into business, I really like to be exclusive in what we do. Now the Ride Local, we reopened the platform in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Actually under the management style of uh, Jonathan Hitt. And I tell you what, that's starting to pick up now. Uh, we're starting to make uh, some good digits uh, every day in sales. And uh, the, riders, uh, the riders that we do have are making decent income with composed and they're building their platform. So right now it's the beginning of the Grand Rapids. So we see some uh, building right now, but I can see progression going forward that the sales and amount of riders we're adding to the pl platform is increasing. Oh, excuse me. And the main, main reason it's increasing is because our fares are a lot lower than the competition. Uh, so we're doing really good as far as additional income. Anybody can do any of this stuff I'm talking about. It's just a matter of get, uh, getting your personality into it and find out what you like to do. Some people don't like to ride, they'll do the ride share deal, picking up passengers. Some people don't like delivery. Some people don't like, uh, they like the catering, but they don't like the delivery part of it or the fast food. Uh, so you can get into catering as well. So there's different ways you can do it and find one that you can do, start doing it. Just do it graciously over week after week. And it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna become vocational for you and mundane. But in the process of that, start figuring out a better way for you to do it. A better way and a more profitable way you to do it. A lot of times it would be placement. A lot of times um, when you drive makes a big difference. And all those things you have to learn as you do the platform. I don't care whose platform you do, it is a learning curve. And each platform uh, actually develops a different type of a driver. So it's based on your personality, based on what you like in your life. But I would suggest don't do anything you don't like. Uh, if you don't like it, it's no sense of doing it. Life's too short, you should do something that you really enjoy. And that's really what I'm doing. Now I'm always open for new, so we had the fruit business where, uh, just to add to our uh, income stream, when I was down there last uh, winter that we got some fruit and we started bending them on uh, the main street down there. Now, uh, we weren't forced to make a bunch of money on it. I was just trying to do a test and see what type of money or what type of revenue can we really see with something like that. So we started doing it and I was just amazed. I posted an ad on uh, Facebook Marketplace and when I posted that ad there, I had 983 people responding and it was crazy. I was getting notifications constantly about people that wondering if it was still available. So at the end of that, I still got those notifications. People want to know, hey, is it still available or when it's going to be available? And I still get it to this day. So going back down there, we have developed a little bit different with it. We now have the fruit where we'll sell the fruit three in a dozen, you know, a pack of three or a dozen. And then we'll also uh, add the lemon shakeups. Now we're working right now on something that's a, a, con a concoction or a blend of the different types of citrus that we do send or do sell to make a drink. So we'll see how we go with that. But with that, we've added that. We've also added the hot dog vending next to it as well. So with it, it's a full scale. We, we have done very well. People love the lemon shakeups. Uh, they're done right there, right in front of them, fresh squeeze, and then they're chilled right in front of you. So there's a little demonstration putting on every time we're vending. And it gets people start to get noticed based on it. So anyway. Anything that you can think about as far as making additional income, the biggest thing that most people have is that when they're working, they're generally working full time anyhow. Either you're working 40, 50, 60 hours a week in order to make ends meet. And we all have different situations. Some of us have family, some of us don't. But whatever situation you're in, it doesn't matter. 
big thing you have to do is you have to start. So I've always noticed is I think about maybe starting another concept or another type of an income stream. And prior to doing it, I'm thinking, well, we're gonna have time to do it. Now, if you look at all what I do, you would think there's not enough time in the day to do it. And so I do isolate what's the most important. And then I work on that first thing every day. And I always, I said it in an earlier video, it talked about choosing three things you're gonna do that day, but number one's gonna be the most important thing which is gonna affect you, which would be income. So I'm gonna concentrate on sales, or I'm gonna concentrate on the platform. So if you can concentrate on the platform and just carve out even an hour, a couple hours a week, if you can do an hour, a couple hours a day, that's even great, but even an hour a week, couple hours a week, and just add some more income into your lifestyle when you start doing that and you start seeing it that it's worth it when you're making the type of additional income that you do then maybe it gets to a point where you start looking at hey maybe i can replace the income i have and even make more than that because the more platforms you have the more income you can make and that's just stands the reason somebody told me that a long time ago two people can make a million dollars a lot easier than one right so if you look at it one income stream cannot make as much money as several and that's just the way it happens and that's happened with me as well so your income ends up increasing because you have different multiple income streams now the security comes in where you have more than you really need and so you, you at your disposal you can pull in what you need in order to uh, have you meet the goals that you want for the type of income that you're looking for so you can maintain that income or you can spike that income. There are some people that take the apps and with their income streams and they'll run them consistently every week and then all of a sudden they want a little additional income for whatever reason. And so they'll go ahead and spike it and then they'll jump it up or they're even at times they're making up to a double amount of income. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe below and then hit notification bell. Now, if you have any comments or if you got any questions, please do so right below and look out for my next video. Thanks for watching.